Welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to take a more in-depth look at one of the new Fat Shark cameras. Now, this is one of the new widescreen cameras designed to work with goggles like the Dominator V3s. In fact, we actually took a preview look at this camera way back when we did the review of the Dominator V3s, but this is the production version. The version that we actually managed to get our hands on do need to say a very big thank you to the team at Fat Shark for sending us this equipment to try out. Uh, the version that we looked at before was actually one of the pre-production units and they've made some improvements. So the camera that we're actually talking about here is actually this one. It's the brand new 960 TVL camera. Now this is a widescreen format camera and what I'm going to do is in the video, first of all, go through and talk about the camera itself, some of the facts, specs and figures for this little guy. Then what we'll do is we'll actually stick it on a craft and we'll take it flying. I'll show you some flight footage and talk about my experiences with it because I've been flying with uh, this one but also its predecessor, the beta version, over the past three or four weeks. And then we'll have a quick chat about latency because that was the single most asked question in the preview that we did in the earlier video. And then finally, we'll kind of wrap everything up. So the first thing we'll talk about then is going to be the actual overview itself. Now the camera, as you can see, actually comes hardwired either to uh, 43 or 69. The 69 is the widescreen version. That's perfect for the Dominator V3s because of that wide screen that we looked at before. And it also becomes hard coded for either PAL or NTSC. There's no jumper to change it. You uh, decide what you're going to uh, want when you order it and it comes with that built in has a standard fat shark cable that we all know and love and it's running on five volts so at the back we have three leads we have the lead that has the video signal we have negative and we have the five volts so to connect this up to a fat shark transmitter is really straightforward it's just a case of plugging it in it is a little bit bigger than some of the other cameras. My previous favorite camera to this one was the 700 TVL line camera, which was an upgrade from the 600 TVL line cameras, and both of those work fantastically well, but a more 4.3 format. Uh, but this one is a little bit deeper and a little bit wider. However, it's relatively straightforward to actually mount it onto a craft. So let me just grab the craft that um, I'm going to pop this on and I'll show you how I've installed it. So here it is on the front of one of my favourite FPV ships and hopefully you can see that it actually fits really well. I'm using my standard way of mounting it using a piece of foam board and uh, that is spaced at the top to give it a slightly upward angle. So this is the ship that I'm actually going to take out to the field and to fly around. The weather today is very overcast, it is a little bit windy. I'll also shoot the video uh, from the Mobius while we're actually capturing this. The way I'm going to capture the video from this camera is using the onboard DVR of the Dominator V3s. So when I actually play this back in a second, I'm going to have to stretch it out slightly. The DVR in the V3s is 640 by 480 so it compresses the image very slightly. Now the challenge with that is that you don't get the same quality from the DVR as you do in the glasses themselves, but it will allow us to kind of see what the view looks like and also talk about things like the contrast and brightness, hue and saturation, because that kind of stuff isn't affected too much by the DVR itself. So let me go and throw this in the bag. There's a fresh battery on the top. Go and do some flight footage and we'll come back and take a look. So what we'll do is actually put those two captured videos on the screen. Here is the first one. This is the 960 TVL line camera from the Dominator V3 DVR, the onboard DVR we've just looked at. Again, I've stretched it slightly just so that we get the same aspect ratio that I can actually see in the goggles. The quality won't be as good, but it'll give you an idea of how it looks when I'm actually looking at it live. Here in the bottom right hand corner, we have our onboard Mobius camera and I've tried to sync them as best I can to give you an idea. Now the Mobius camera will figure out the white balance in a second. Again, it is a challenging day. It is very overcast with some kind of weird light, but this is the only opportunity I've had to really try and capture some video with the new camera in the new setup. So hopefully you can see here that the way it's handling 
the light and exposure is very good. And this is one of the things that Fat Shark had been working on in between the beta version of the camera that I played with before and this production unit as well. They've changed the way that the metering works and it is much better in the new camera. It handles light and it's not blowing out at all. So whereas in bright sunny days, you tend to get good contrast all the time because the ground is lit so well, on such a poor day as today where the ground is a little bit uh, shadowed and the sky is quite light although very overcast, it's doing a pretty good job. The other thing I will mention here is having this widescreen view naturally in the Dominator V3s does make the flying experience a lot more immersive and it's something that I've noticed even after a couple of years of FPV. Testament to that is the fact that I got car sick the first three or four times when I actually flew with the new 960s as part of the goggles. Not an experience or something that was happening with the 6 or 700 TVL line cameras, but with the 960 it was. And I think that was because I was getting so drawn into the experience and the view out of the front of the camera that I was actually getting a little bit of motion sickness. Now that didn't last very long, but it is testament to how good the camera and goggles work together because that kind of dizziness and uncomfortable feeling hasn't been something that I've experienced since I very first started FPV all those years ago. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the desk, let's plug this camera into a bit of equipment and let's just see what the kind of latency looks like because I know that was something that everyone was interested in. So here's what we're going to do to actually test this out. We have my Black Pearl FPV receiver, so we'll be able to kind of see how quickly the image appears on him. Then we have a little 25 milliwatt FPV transmitter from Fatshark. That's going to be the one that's going to send the image. We we'll use the same kit for both cameras. That will provide a little bit of consistency. We're obviously going to use the camera, pop this back out of the model, popped it back on its little thing so we can use the latest and greatest version for this. And I've also got one of these guys, a little 600 TVLI camera, which again is, uh, is what a lot of people are flying for things like FPV. So first of all, let me set this up and plug this together. So just to show you if you've never seen how the Fat Shark systems go together, really straightforward, all you do is you just literally plug in that cable. And there we are, we're set. Let me power this up and we'll come back and we'll have a look at it actually working. And what I'll do is I'll try and shoot the same thing and we can look at the video side by side. So first of all, let me do a video of this, configured and set up and working. Then I'll plug in the Fat Shark 960 CMOS camera and we'll try it again and we'll see if we can feel the difference. So the first camera, the 600 TVL, is very immediate as you actually move the camera around you can actually see the image is appearing instantly and the 600 TVL camera is very very quick so it's going to provide a good comparison for us to compare it with the 960 but you can see as I flick it the image is pretty much there so we're talking milliseconds of lag if we look at the 960 and we do the same thing then actually it's a very, very similar experience. I'm kind of struggling with the equipment that I have here to actually measure any difference, but what I would say is that the difference in the 600 TVL to the 960 is small and almost imperceptible. So I would say that it's almost certainly 20 milliseconds or less uh, because that's about the resolution that I have with the equipment here of the difference between this camera and the 600 TVL. So it's very, very quick for a camera with this amount of resolution. So in summary, what do I think? Well, I am a fan of Fat Shark. However, saying that, I do think they have done a very good job with this camera. The previous favourite camera of mine, the 700 TVL camera, has now been replaced in my heart by this 960. Not only am I using this new version, I'm still using the beta unit that I got from Fat Shark in another one of my craft. Using it with something like the Dominator V3 uh, headset or with some of the other widescreen goggles that you can get, it does give a much more immersive, enjoyable experience. So much so, and testament to how good the camera is, you do get that slightly car sick feeling when you fly with it for the first couple of times. Those of you that had that in the early days of FPV will no doubt get it for the first couple of flights with this guy too. Just because that widescreen view does make you feel like you're actually sat inside the craft. 
It will be coming into general availability now. I do understand from Fatshark they actually have released it to manufacturing, so it should be appearing in your favorite Fatshark reseller. Don't forget though, do specify whether or not you want the 4.3 or the 16.9 version, and also take time to make sure that it's the format that you want, either PAL or NTSC. Take the time to subscribe to the channel and join the Painless 360 community. The videos that we produce are all on our channel and they're all arranged into easy to use playlists. So if you click on the playlist tab, then you'll be able to see all of the videos that we have collected into individual playlists that make it easier to find videos you're interested in. If you click on any single one of these playlists, then you'll actually be taken to the playlist and you'll be able to see all of the videos laid out one after the other and either can play them individually or play all. Or if you came and saw the video that you've just watched by accident and you're not a subscriber, then please subscribe. But also if you look at the top of the description underneath the video that you've just watched, Usually, if it's part of a playlist, one of the first things in the description will be a link back to the playlist so you can find all the other interesting videos that you might like. Thanks again for watching. Please like, do subscribe, and very happy flying.